Hello epic viewers from around the universe, prepare to indulge in experiencing sheer bliss because today another Ribbon Captain Ink Stellar unboxing video is about to be brought to fruition. What items will I be unboxing? What items will I be opening? Without further delays, without further procrastination, let me do a list at the box. What items are encompassed inside this hefty, tangible, nifty, bulky box? Let's find out. I'm going to demystify the answer to the inquiry right here now, right now. So bear with me. It'll only take me a billion supply seconds to extract the items from the box and subsequently flaunt them in from the camera for you to feast your glorious eyes on. Here we go. The unboxing process is about to commence. The unboxing process it's officially underway. What items have I prompted? What items have I drawn forth? What items have I elicited? Let's find out. These figurines are known by the monikers of the Foot Soldiers. Apparently they're derived from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014 movie action figure line. Are these figurines a paradigm of perfection? Are they the epitome of a sound of perfection? Are they the embodiment of perfection? Let's find out the subject if you could assess their merits down in the nitty gritty details to determine whether or not they warrant a premium price. I recollect paying slightly over three dollars to procure each of these figurines. Are they robust? Are they stellar? Are they intricate? Are they novel? Let's find out. I'm going to render their appearances transparent. They're about to be liberated. They're about to be freed from their cardboard confines or plastic confines. I'm going to shred their cardboard backs. Let's open this homogeneous for soldier first. Once he's unboxed, then we can unbox the second homogeneous for soldier he has officially been liberated there's no twist ties I can find him to his plastic tray or to his plastic shell here he is the notorious infamous for soldier I love his shadings, I love his deco, I love his aesthetics, I love his hues, I love his textures, I love his sculpt. He stands roughly five inches tall. He's probably slightly shorter than five inches. He scales eminently well with a six inch action figure collection. Here's one of his rifles. He comes with a multitude of weapons. He's armed to the T. He comes with a little knife or dagger. That he could utilize to impale his adversaries. He could penetrate through their limbs. He can sever their organs. He can dismember them. He's quite savage. That's why he's a member of the Foot Clan. He's a ninja that wields guns. It's quite uncanny, it's quite unprecedented, it's quite unusual, but it is what it is. I need to equip his weapons before I lose them. It's a hassle, it's a burdensome task having to equip all his weapons, but it's my decision, right? They shouldn't be relegated to a plastic bag or to packaging. They should be utilized and flaunted. Equipping the weapons renders action figure renders the action figure complete. Or I should say equipping the corresponding weapons renders the action figure complete. Now, I also wanted to notify you that his elbows and his knees are not double jointed. He lacks finger joint articulation, he lacks toe articulation, he lacks a diaphragm joint, and he lacks the ability to rotate his head. He still possesses ample points of articulation. He can move his legs and his arms inwards and outwards. Not all action figures can do that. Some action figures are confined to ratchets, or, or I should say their um, body parts or appendages are confined to ratchets. So. Articulation is limited to swivels. In the context of the figurine, he can ascend his arms and descend them. He can also move them inwards and outwards.
His legs can be placed into nearly any dynamic pose that you see fit. Unfortunately, he lacks an ankle pivot. He lacks peg holes in his feet. They could have easily embedded peg holes in the bottom of his feet. I'm not sure why they neglected to do so. Maybe they wanted to minimize their costs. So here he is again. Not an abysmal figurine for $3. He's not a remarkable figurine either. He's just... decent. Next we have the other... counterpart of the foot soldier. The second... homogeneous... foot soldier who's a doppelganger. A carbon copy of the other one. I can't pinpoint any salient differences amongst them, or between them. You luckily can't tell the difference between this the soldier and the other one, since they look akin to one another. I just noticed something that... I just noticed that this the soldier comes with a mask. I'm not sure if the other one does. Maybe the mask is a novelty. I'm striving to find the plastic shell that the other figurine was confined within. scouring my room for it. I can't find it at the moment. I'll just reconvene my search later. I'll defer the search for now. It will reconvene post recording this video. So I just need to equip his weapons and then I'll flaunt him in front of the camera. After I flaunt this figurine in front of the camera, then you could compare and contrast him to his counterpart, Foot Soldier, the Brethren. I'm so weary, I'm lethargic, I'm debilitated, I need to get some REM sleep. But before I can do so, I need to finish these unboxing videos. My viewers expect me to, de to deliver quality content, which is what I'm striving to eminently do. I was just saying, eminently striving to meet that demand. Maybe that sounds a bit more efficacious. So. If I'm tired, I just need to act lively and animated. And deplete all my energy to amuse my viewers so that they don't deem this video to be vapid. Alrighty, so here we have the two stellar figurines. They're exquisite. They're remarkable for $3 each. For $5 figurines, I would constitute them to be mediocre. For $8 figurines, I would constitute them to be abysmal. But considering that they come with four accessories, or five, and in the case of this one, they came bundled with a mask, I consider that they stand roughly five inches tall. They're not abysmal per se. Just because they're not egregious doesn't mean that they don't have flaws. As I stated earlier, they could utilize disc joints, diaphragm joints, finger joint articulation, toe articulation, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, 
at least they have joints embedded within their pelvises so it's nice that I finally own two more of these particular figurines here's how the foot soldier looks with the mask equipped here's how the foot soldier looks without the transparent white mask equipped I prefer how they look with their masks equipped Maybe their masks are supposed to represent a gas mask. Who knows? It's an enigma. So here are the two figurines. I love their novelties. I love how they have holsters on their pants. Their joints are relatively sturdy, the integrity of these figurines has not been compromised yet. They're not marred with scuffs or scratches or dings or dents, so that's a positive. I really can't complain for what I received. Remember I relinquished slightly over three dollars to procure each foot soldier figurine. So, in retrospect, in hindsight, I have no qualms about this purchase and decision. For $3, I don't mind investing in these figurines. They render me more jubilant, more buoyant, more content, more gratified, more optimistic, and all the above. So, here they are once again. I hope that you found this video to be intriguing and enthralling. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.